All right, guys, it's your boy DeAnthony, and you're watching another episode of Should You. Hey, guys, I'm still looking fly, you know what I'm saying? But that's because we're about to get into a review about a show that's just off the chain, and the main character is always looking good in his suits. So he, he got he on some grown man stuff. Now, this is a show that I would say is one of the core shows that you should be watching right now. So we got The Walking Dead, of course. We got Game of Thrones, of course. And you gotta have Ray Donovan. Now, Ray Donovan is on his fourth season coming up. So it's three seasons in. Just saw a preview for the fourth season. So this is a review, a review of the preview. Okay, so it asked my boy Lee Shriver. That's the guy that played Sabretooth in the X-Men Origins of Wolverine. Not the first, not the X-Men Part 1. Origins of Wolverine, he plays the brother, Sabretooth, of Wolverine. He's been, to me, he did an awesome job in that movie. And the show, he's doing even a, a way better job to me. Like, I don't even know how he's even doing this. Because I feel like, how can you go from, like... Stone cold, hard, holding all your feelings, no real emotions, to real everyday real life, laughing and smiling and playing and all this stuff. I don't know how he, I don't know how he does it, but his performance in this, awesome. It also has John Vaught. Now, to me, the the thing he's most known for is Anaconda, but you might know him from uh, Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. He's pretty good in that. Um, he does an awesome job at playing the dad. He plays Mickey. And he's like the mischievous father. But the thing is... Okay. So this is what it's about. I feel like we don't know what it's about. Let me explain. It's in his fourth season. It's about a guy that's a cleanup man for high class, high profile people. Celebrities, politicians, things like that. And when they get into messes, he cleans it up. If they, you know, got in trouble with somebody, he cleans it up by either blackmail, beating them up, or whatnot. Um, and then his father comes along. He gets out of his father gets out of jail, and he's trying to be like more of a real father role. But now Ray is like probably forty. His dad is like 65, 70. And now you're trying to be a father. I'm good. And Ray is battling trying to keep his father away from his family and still do his own business or job uh, or job um, cleaning up messes and it's a lot of drama like I said um, there's a lot of good actors in it I don't know all the actors names but the dynamic between him and his brothers are awesome because he has a brother that's like he has a brother that's I'm gonna, I'm gonna just call him a cripple but he's like the uh, conscience of the, of, the, of, the, of the brothers. And then he has the Bunchy, who is his younger brother, that is like the screw-up. He's the one that never does stuff right, not dependable, things like that. And Ray always has to go ahead and clean, him, clean, it up, clean up his mess as well. And then you, and then you had the, the black brother. I'm like, how you got a black brother? Uh, what's going on? But Pops liked him a little bit of chocolate. So that's how you got a black brother. Now, of course, which is a little offensive to me, they downplay the black guy so that he's a little punk. And I actually hate when he come on. Honestly, I, I feel like with shows, if you're going to make us, if you're going to kill us off, if you're going to uh, make us docile, then just don't have us on the show. It's cool. I understand. I I understand. I don't need to be on the show seeing myself kid ever, all the time. But anyway, I digress. So, but it's still a good show. Um, it's a lot of action. It's a lot of suspense. It's, to me, it has a lot of uh, intellectual value because you never know what's going to happen. It's like, oh, oh, snap. They always, they don't leave you with no stupid cliffhangers and uh, have you have to finish the story the next season. They give you everything and it's going to be good. It's going to be impactful. It's going to be uh, heart-filling because 
you know, he's dealing with his kids and trying to be a father and try to be protective and try to be a provider, you know, so that dynamic is really good. So they showed the new trailer and I'm excited. He is a Catholic, but a, um, a backsliding Catholic or he hasn't gone in a while, whatever you call that. And so with all the stuff that he's doing made him go back to the church and in the preview, he's confessing. So I'm like, oh, snap, son. What is he confessing about? Because he must have did something that he really just felt bad about. And he's trying to get his life together. Um, even though I don't believe in none of that confession stuff. But anyway, he's trying to get back with his wife. You know, had a fallout with his wife. I guess his wife doesn't really trust him. She was going to um, a, uh, a CAT scan or MRI. So it looks like she might have cancer. So that's gonna be another little dynamic to the whole situation, to the to the drama. I see him in a car with a police officer. It looks like there's a scene where they're carrying a body bag. He might have gotten too full of himself or too deep into the mess that he ended up killing some people he don't need to be killing on accident, on purpose. I don't know. But you kill a cop, you that's pretty bad. Everybody looking for you, bruh. Because everyone knows him in the city, so it's not like they don't know who he is. So you kill a cop, I feel like you asking for it. I think it's going to be good. I, I, I'm really excited for it. So it comes out June 26th, Sunday night. Everyone should be watching. Like I said, it's a core show. you got to be watching it. Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, Ray Donovan. Now, I got some other shows to add on to that, like Power, for sure. But we're going to stick with the Ray Donovan right now because that's what it's about. But that's a core show you need to be watching. If you haven't, go ahead and get on Netflix uh, or, or it might be on Hulu, whatever you got. Binge that. For June 26th, you'll be all caught up and ready to go. Ray Donovan. Everybody should be watching it. I'm excited. Let's do it. I'm out. D. Anthony. Subscribe, like, but subscribe though, because you're going to want to watch the next one, I'm sure. But you can like too. I'll take that. But subscribe, like, share, email us to your friends, word of mouth, whatever you got to do to let people know. Tune in, D. Anthony, should you, and you should, Ray Donovan. All right, I'm out. Peace.